Thank you very much to both Neil and Congressman King for their insightful comments. I would now like to invite Congressman Crowley to speak. <coughs> Very much. I'm going to be brief because we're going to call votes very, very soon, and um, I think we're all happy about that. At least I am. Uh, last votes of the day. So, we get up tomorrow. Or? Um, you know, I have to talk to you privately about that. <laughs> we'll be in, we'll be in tomorrow. We'll, we'll be out tomorrow. Is the question? That's there the you real question. Uh, I am very happy though to be back here at the Washington Island program uh, to demonstrate my support for this outstanding program. I have um, really, I think, um, benefited so mightily myself and my office by having uh, an intern uh, each year uh, from this program. In fact, this year my office has been flooded with Irish interns, <laughs> both from the program and outside the program as well. Actually, in one kind of a mixture within, recommended by the program, but not part of the program. So uh, it's, uh, it really is an outstanding program, and I think it's an opportunity. As many have heard me speak before, that uh, this is an opportunity to show people how people like Peter King and I, who agree on nothing, can actually get along. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we actually agree on a number of things. But, uh, um, and that um, my mother is from Northern Ireland. She's from a uh, place uh, called uh, uh, Killian or Kilivi. It's on the double Belfast Road. So when you, just when you go over the border, on both sides of the road was where my mother was from. And her family uh, is still, many of her, uh, my cousins are still there. And my father's family was from the south of Ireland. He was born in Nasmuth, Queens. <laughs> and, uh, but when he went home at night, once he went into that building after going to school and he walked back into his home, he was back in County Cavan, because that's where his mother was from. But once inside those, uh, that house, uh, things changed. The outside world was no longer in existence, and he was in Ireland somewhere. So. Um, I was uh, I was coming to my father was more Irish than my mother at all the time. You know, she was born there. It just seemed that, that way to me. Um, I think the, the love and appreciation here in America for Ireland is overwhelming. When you think of a country that, uh, in total, I guess between North and South, there's about six million people. Is that about right? Or is it less than that? I'm not sure anymore. How much the population of Ireland? North and South. Only about six. About six, I was right. Yeah. And that there can be such an affection for the country here of uh, just about 300 million people. It speaks volumes about, I think, uh, Ireland itself. And I think the love of this program here in Washington speaks volumes about our hope for the future of the people of Northern Ireland, the the young people that will make the difference. That learning how we get along here and going home and talking about that, that experience and how you all get along with each other. Uh, here as well is an important uh, aspect to that. But we, I never expect that people go back home and all's forgotten, everything is hunky dory, as they say. But that uh, you, beginning, you have the beginning of the building blocks of relationships that many years from now you look back and say, you know, she isn't so bad. You know, I, I actually got to know her a little bit in America and uh, this program that I used to have back then called the Washington Ireland program. Maybe they'll still have it. We hope they'll still have it uh, at that time. Uh, and, uh, or vice versa, it could be, you know, he's not such a bad person, I got to know him during that time. So I think that's what the promise of this program has, that it gives you some experience as to what we do here in America, and uh, legislatively, but also maybe more importantly, how we interact, and, uh, uh, and, and I think that makes a big difference. How someone who was reared the way which I was, in a very staunchly Roman Catholic family in, uh, in Queens, New York, ended up marrying a, a, a Protestant from Montana. Uh, all three of my children right now are with my in-laws in, uh, on a ranch in Billings, Montana. How a kid from Queens could marry a girl from Montana, that's a whole other story. If any of you guys are interested, I'll let you know a little later on. But it really is astounding that it respects it's kind of like a mixed marriage almost, you know, in terms of here in the States, but it's, it's remarkable. And um, in many respects, it's not remarkable at all. For me, it may have been because of my upbringing, but uh, that's America. It happens all the time, and no one's going to war over it. So, uh, and that's a lesson for you as well. So, I, I'm speaking too much. Uh, Newell is probably going to come over here and give me the hook in a few moments anyway, so you know, you went too long. I just say one other thing, and that is, uh, listening to some of the speakers come in, 
the accent, the Irish, Northern Irish accent, I think is one, it's really beautiful. I think it's a great accent. <laughs> you may not all agree with that, but I just think it is. I think it's a great accent. Except and uh, how much better we all as politicians would sound if we had that nice accent. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, what's you, you got to hear the and I, the gruff accents that we have from Queens, New York, you know, it's, it's guttural. It's like, you know, and it's, it's not the same with a little Irish accent. So, um, but thank you all very welcome. And, and, and again, I love this program. It's a great, and the people who run this program are fantastic people, very, very dedicated. Uh, to you all. I hope you appreciate that as well. So thank you all very much.